Good afternoon. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso. This is the Uda Joy Meditation School. And a good-hearted reviewer of one of my videos wrote and asked, why do we sit in meditation? Why can't we stand or lay down? That's a very good question, and we'll explore that in this video. But first, remember to um, find the subscribe button, give that a click, and then also click the bell icon so that you don't miss out upon the next video. Now let's get to it. First thing is, meditation is a vague word. Buddha taught a very specific system. It wasn't for healing. It wasn't for wealth. It wasn't to make people fall in love with you. It wasn't for manifesting. It was specifically to create enlightenment. In the Satipatthana Sutta, Buddha taught that his system could be mastered and taken all the way to enlightenment in seven years or seven months or seven fortnights in seven weeks or even within seven days. So it's a very potent system that he promised us. Now, in this system, described succinctly in the Anapanasati texts, um, Buddha says we go to a peaceful place, we sit cross-legged, and we bring our awareness in front of us. We then work with 16 exercises, and, and if done correctly, we are told that we will master the four foundations of mindfulness, the seven, let's see, the seven enlightenment factors, and then eventually knowledge and liberation. So, although in Buddhist system we bring mindfulness with us throughout the day, so that we are aware when we're lying down, we are aware when we're standing, we are aware when we're walking. And personally, I practice um, brisk walking meditation every morning. And I practice a sitting meditation three times throughout the day. But Buddhist system really did emphasize sitting meditation. Now, this is important. In the Panidimbana Sutta, we are warned not to trust any teaching becomes, because it comes from someone famous or because it is very old. The only thing that makes a teaching worth embracing is whether it works. So what Buddha suggested is that we receive teachings and apply them and notice the results. If we get Terrible, terrible results. We should first question our application of the teachings and then question the teachings themselves. However, if when we do follow the instructions we get good results, that tells us that we should continue on that path. So, ultimately, the that which should give us confidence in the teachings is only the results generated by the teachings so, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your pals on social media. And um, of course, you are welcome to help support the, uh, the Buddha Joy Meditation School for as little as a buck a month on Patreon. Link below. Now, before you go, my question is: What is your favorite posture to meditate in? Please write that. Please tell me that in the comment area below. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Bye-bye now.